Hey there, my name is Dimitri and welcome to our video, which will help you navigate the hierarchical structure of Taskade, including Taskade AI, a tool that redefines project management. Understanding the hierarchy inside of Taskade, workspaces, folders, and projects is crucial for leveraging its full potential to organize and streamline your tasks. Imagine a workspace where every project is perfectly organized with every task and subtask neatly nested in its rightful place. Firstly, we'll explore workspaces. So in order to create a workspace, firstly, you would click on the create a workspace button right there, the new workspace button. And then it's right here. You can see you can name it. Um, for example, we could put it as Acme and moving forward, we can pick our theme here. So I'm going to pick one of these colors and as blue, uh, I don't see color very well. So maybe it's not blue. And then from there, you're able to adjust the settings to be editor or viewer and otherwise, and you can add people here via email or share the link in order to add fellow team members to the workspace. So as we've seen, setting a workspace in the first step is very easy to do. And next, what we're gonna do is dive into the folder structure inside of Taskade. Folders are great for grouping related projects, making your workspace more efficient and navigating. It is going to be a lot easier using it. Envision a workspace where every project has its neatly organized spot. That's exactly what folders are for. Let's dive into the folder structure, how to create them. So firstly, within your workspace, you're gonna click on the new folder button and name it after the team, client, or project type. So let's name it marketing. And then for your folder, you can pick a specific theme as well. So I'm gonna pick this yellow one right here. And furthermore, you can invite members to your folders with either a link or through email. So I can make sure everyone at Acme can edit and right there, click on it to create. And in a moment, it will be good to go here. So I then can, once again, adjust the permission specifically, share the link, add people via email, and there we go. So that's the folder level of this system. But below folders, you're also gonna have projects. So now that you have your workspace and folders, it's time to dive into projects. Projects are where the real action begins. They're adaptable to any content from to-do lists to full-fledged documents. Picture a space where all your ideas and tasks come to life collaboratively and creatively under the workspace and then under the folders as well. So starting a project is actually pretty simple. Firstly, inside your folder, click on new project. It's gonna be on the top right of the screen. So you can click on that and you can pick from a lot of different templates. We also have an AI generator for these and we're gonna create a project from scratch here. So once you've created this example project, you can assign a due date. Obviously we can change the project name too, but this is the due date. Um, there's a time range that I could set it for. You can assign it to individuals. And not only that, but you can also add tags to it as well. And then moving forward on the right, you'll see that you can show or hide completed items and adjust the sorting as well as change this to a full screen view of the project. So it's very simple to kind of get a look at everything you have going on. Now, the key thing to note about these projects is that they are very simple to navigate and we're only diving into the basic hierarchical structure. So we have a lot more content on how these exactly work, but it's very simple and basic to navigate through these tools once you understand this hierarchical structure. Now, projects in Taskade are very versatile and collaborative. They allow you to bring your tasks and ideas together in a structured yet creative way. However, next we're gonna talk about the blocks and tasks for task management. So it's the final deep down level of what we're getting into. These blocks can completely transform your task management within projects. Blocks in Taskade are essentially the building blocks, pun intended, for your tasks, allowing for a structured yet flexible way to organize. Think of a project where every task is neatly categorized and easily manageable. So first of all, adding a building block, we can see pretty quickly when we are inside of a project that you can click on the add block button and choose the type of block you need, like a checklist or bullet list. Right here, you'll see that now I can change the task name here to task one, task two, as these are their own individual blocks and they can have their own sub blocks right here. So the subtask could be written out like that. And also you can do this for multiple different blocks is very simple. From here, you'll see that we can highlight any of these blocks. So I can go right here, highlight over this. And this is gonna make them stand out. You can also order them as you'd like. This helps you keep the priority items on top. Uh, very similar to what you have inside of other products. You're able to drag them. There's custom sorting that we talked about earlier. And these projects and tasks are very simple to dive into now that you've understood the hierarchy. Because as we wrap up with this hierarchy conversation, it's clear how the structure is the backbone of effective project management. It starts from workspace, then goes down to folders, 
projects, blocks, and tasks. As you continue to use Taskade, let this structured approach be your guide to a more organized, productive, and collaborative work life. Here's to mastering Taskade's hierarchy and transforming your way of life and the way you work. With that being said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.